animals. I'm always talking about animals. I love them. But the thing is, you know, whenever you see animals on telly, it's always a show off animals. Yeah, it's always the leopards and panthers and crocodiles, lions, milling about. Oh, I'm very good. I'm on everything. That really makes me annoyed. You know, I mean, about the English animals, the British mammals. Yeah. Ah, oh, what about the uh, the muskrat or the tiny northern root vole with his little banjo and hat made of elastic bands? Yeah. No, 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 who's no, representing no, no, him? No, no. no one. That's who. I was furious. So I went round all the heavily wooded regions in England and I just went round with a small pamphlet recruiting like a huge slave rebellion. I was like Spartacus. I was there going, okay, we're going to go to Africa. We're going to kick their asses. And I've got a huge sort of tiny little mammal slave rebellion. They were all wearing tunics. We were there rummaging about Greece. Well, Ken. And I said, come on, we're going to go over there and we're going to show them. I'm sick of the lions. I'm sick of the crocodiles. You must be too. Come on now. big rusty bomber and we flew over to Africa but we needed a strategy couldn't just go over there you know and go come on give them some aggro we needed a strategy so what we did is um, we built a huge wooden shrew like the wooden horse of Troy but just a little bit more stoating with tiny little stoats arms holding a spear and what we did is we lined it to make it double dangerous we lined it all with Kit Kat wrappers ah oh, it was fantastic it was like a glossy bitch ah oh, it was so bright it was a metallic wonder small boys would rather eat a pair of scissors than go near the glossy bitch don't make me go near it I'll eat another pair of scissors I can't look at it it's doing my pupils in ah oh, it was fantastic it was very warlike the body was very warlike but the eyes they were telling a different story body warlike eyes like the eyes of an old Russian lady who'd seen too much. An old Russian lady with her arm caught in a loom and big sailors would walk past and go, hello. And she'd go, no, not hello, my arm, it's in a loom. And they go, yes, hello. And she'd go, no, not hello, it's gone maroon. My arm, it is in a loom. And they go, yes, hello. And she'd go, no, not hello. And in the end, she'd have to pick up the two-ton loom and walk and follow them home and knock on their front windows. And they'd be going, oh, you're scaring me a little bit now. That's what the eyes were like. Dangerous, but beautiful at the same time. circles out of the base of the shrew so that Martin Pine Martin could stick his little stoty weasley legs through and wheel us around. It was fantastic. Although we had no windows so we were crashing into antique shops, knocking over stationary yachts, we were having a nightmare. And eventually we found the planes and we waited till dusk, waited till it got a little bit dark and we looked through a crack in the shrew and they were all out there, lions wheeling up. We thought, yeah, we're gonna get you, you freak nuts. So what we did is we waited till it was dark and we went out and we went, yeah! And we ran at them and when we got out there we couldn't believe it they were huge lions the size of transit vans we couldn't we didn't know what was happening leopards like marquees oh he's like a victorian tennis house look at the size of him martin the pine mite was in a right state said no i'm not going out there because they were bloody huge didn't sound big they're going to be that huge i was happening to your voice and i jerked up but i'm a bit scared so we all ran back in the shrew we were like oh no what are we going to do let's come up with plan b Luckily, Morris, the uh, wood pigeon, went, I've got an idea, and uh, he brought some Japanese tourist costumes along, so we popped them on, went out there, and we took photos of them all. <laughs> but we used them cameras at Firewater. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of the zebras were soaked, cheaters, bringing out their gussets. We went over there, and we kicked their asses. Best weekend I've ever had.